Today's major technology companies and automakers all want to own the most powerful, most advanced chips to increase the performance of their products. However, they still have to depend on the chip manufacturers, such as TSMC and Intel, unlike Apple and Tesla which have designed their own chips and with very fast processing speeds. But recently, a chip maker launched a new superior chip that can beat Apple and Tesla's own in-house chips. Who is this chip maker, and what are the specs behind their Apple slash Tesla killer chip? Stay tuned to find out. But before we begin, please show your support by subscribing to the channel and ringing the bell so you won't miss any of our interesting videos in the future. Now, without any further delays, let's dive right in on today's content. Elon Musk has predicted that in the future there will be chips with great power. At present, the chip that can take the throne of the top chips of Apple and Tesla is the high-end processor known as Snapdragon SA8540P from Qualcomm which is produced by Qualcomm, an American multinational corporation headquartered in San Diego, California, that creates semiconductors, software, and services related to wireless technology. At the Consumer Electronics Show 2022, GM said that its next-generation automated driving system Ultra Cruise will be powered by a scalable compute architecture featuring system-on-chips, or SOC, developed by Qualcomm. At the heart of the Ultra Cruise system is a computer module about the size of two laptops stacked together. It'll be powered by a scalable compute architecture using Qualcomm chips and GM's proprietary software stack. These chips from Qualcomm that will be used in GM electric vehicles are a pair of the same high-end processor known as SA8540P, which integrates 16 central processing cores and a separate artificial intelligence accelerator called the SA9000P. The performance of the SA8540P chip is more than 300 trillion operations per second to plot out the world around the vehicle with cameras, radar, and LiDAR sensors. The processing performance of the SA8540P chip is nearly 14 times that of Apple's most powerful chip, the M1 Ultra. Accordingly, the M1 Ultra runs just 22 trillion operations per second. Moreover, Qualcomm's chip is even twice as powerful as Tesla's FSD chip with 144 trillion operations per second. The researchers said that at 300 trillion operations per second, it is between 300 and 2,000 times faster than today's conventional commercial transistors. The SA8540P Qualcomm chip is designed with 5 nanometer processing technology, enabling superior performance and power efficiency. The SA8540P chip will provide the necessary bandwidth for the Ultra Cruise system's sensing, perception, planning, localization, mapping, and driver monitoring in GM's electric vehicles. The 5 nanometer technology of the SA8540P chip provides about 20% faster speed than 7 nanometer technology, which means about 40% in power reduction, which is a very low power consumption rating. Hence, the processing speed of the SA8540P chip is even higher than that of the Dojo D1 chip, one of the most advanced chips designed by Tesla. Not only that, Qualcomm is taking advantage of its vast expertise in the semiconductor business to build chips that burn through less power and generate less heat than other solutions on the market. Accordingly, thanks to the Snapdragon SA8540P chip's high-performance, power-sipping design, the automated driving system Ultra Cruise in GM electric vehicles is passively cooled, meaning it will not require heavy and inefficient cooling lines throughout the vehicle. GM hasn't revealed yet how much power the Ultra Cruise system consumes, but the fact that it's air-cooled means the Snapdragon chips from Qualcomm likely will use less power than processors that require water or other coolants to prevent overheating. On the other hand, the AMD Ryzen processor, or the MCU3, in the new Model 3 and Model Y is now using more power to increase computing efficiency. However, this directly translates to higher energy consumption and slightly less range. It's probably a very small decrease in range, but big enough that it requires updated range ratings and even customer confirmations in some markets whether they agree or disagree on the reduced range. Most recently, as per a source, several customers are still unsatisfied with the fact that the AMD Ryzen processors can reduce the range of their vehicles. Additionally to the US car manufacturer GM using Qualcomm chips, Volkswagen's software unit Cariad has picked chip maker Qualcomm to supply chips for its unified software platform designed for future autonomous driving solutions. 
The German car maker will use Qualcomm Snapdragon Ride Platform's system on chips to enable assisted and automated driving functions up to level 4, where human interaction will not be necessary in most situations. Cariad CEO Dirk Hilgenberg said in a statement, The connected and automated car of the future is a high-performance computer on wheels. With our automated driving solutions, we are striving to let customers take their hands off the steering wheel in the future. The system on chips will be a crucial hardware element in Cariad's compute platform, which is targeted for all Volkswagen Group vehicles from the middle of the decade. So, will Tesla cooperate with Qualcomm to produce a superior new chip? The answer is no, because before that, Tesla and Qualcomm had a not very good relationship. In the past, a number of technology companies and major automakers, such as Tesla, Ford, Honda, Intel, and other firms, urged the Federal Trade Commission to appeal a ruling made surrounding Qualcomm's patent licensing procedure. To be specific, the issue surrounds Qualcomm's practice of requiring companies using its chips to sign a patent license agreement before actually selling any chips. Each company signed the letter saying this practice will make future connected vehicle technology more expensive as the practice weeds out the competition. Which semiconductor manufacturers did Tesla work with to provide chips for electric cars like the Cybertruck? Tesla has already cooperated with one of the world's leading technology corporations, Samsung, to produce the next generation Tesla FSD chip Hardware 4, or HW 4.0. A report revealed the secret of the provider of this integrated chip which Tesla will install in the Cybertruck for the first time. Tesla is currently using the HW 3.0 supercomputer in all of its cars produced in the United States and China. According to Tesla's CEO Elon Musk, although HW 3.0 is fully capable of computing the full self-driving software, the automaker still wanted to make the next level computer just in time to make FSD even safer. The Texas-based automaker also wants to keep innovating and improving upon its technology in the essence of its continuous improvements cycle. After the Cybertruck, the hardware 4.0 chip will slowly transition to newly produced cars of the entire lineup as it happened in the case of HW 3.0. Elon Musk has hinted at the use of HW 4.0 during the AI Day presentation. And obviously there will be a future hardware 4 of full self-driving computer 2, um, which we'll probably introduce with the Cybertruck. And that's the end of today's episode. We sincerely thank you for watching today's video and for all of your support of our channel, Tesla Car World. As always, if you enjoyed our video, please leave a like, share the video, subscribe to the channel, and ring that bell to stay up to date on exciting developments in the world of EVs. And be sure to leave a comment down below to tell us what you thought about today's content. Once again, we thank you so much. From all of us here, we hope to see you again next time. Until then, take care and be safe.